Hello everyone, my name is Rachna. I am a research fellow at the European Space Agency in the Netherlands. And since after a series of unsuccessful attempts, I was finally able to spot Comet Neowise just a couple of days ago. I thought I should quickly share some tips with you so that you can see it also. So the comet is visible to the observers in the northern hemisphere in the northwest sky after dusk or in the northeast sky before dawn. And the easiest way to spot it is to first look for the Big Dipper or the plow that consists of seven bright stars and then look down to the horizon and a little bit to the right and you will be able to see a fuzzy little thing with its tail pointing up. That's our comet. Now it's very much visible to the naked eye provided you are in a good dark spot away from city lights and with a clear view to the horizon. But because I was in the city center, I used a pair of binoculars and it was just unmissable. So if you can't go away from the city, I would suggest looking for it with a pair of binoculars first. And once you have spotted it, you can remove them and you'll be still be able to see the comet as a fuzzy little object. The comet is absolutely magnificent and I strongly encourage you to not miss this event because it will not be seen again for another 6,000 years or so. So happy comet viewing and remember to stay safe. Hi everyone, my name is Shanlo and I'm a research fellow at the European Space Agency in the Netherlands. For the first time in many years, we had the chance to see a comet in the sky with our naked eyes. I was too young to see comet Yakutaki and Heli Bob in mid 90s, so Neowise is the first comet I had the chance to see. Last week, I went out in the middle of the night and I could see the comet and its tail from the front of my house, in the middle of the city. And it's a spectacular sight. Not having my camera with me, I took a picture of it with my mobile phone, and it worked surprisingly well. For those who enjoy taking pictures, it is possible to image the comet even with your mobile phone, if it has a manual or a night mode, which allows you to take several second exposures in order to get more light in the camera. It's best if you find a dark spot away from city lights and with a low horizon. If you have a DSLR camera and a tripod, then it's even better to image the comet. After sunset, turn the camera towards the northwest and try to find the Big Dipper. The comet will be just below. Switch on manual focus, try different focal lengths and exposure types, and set the self timer of the camera. Use a wide angle lens to capture more of the sky and the entire tail of the comet. Use a scenic background, such as a lake, a tree, or a windmill. And with some fine tuning, I guarantee it will be an excellent picture and a memorable experience. Enjoy the commentary show and remember to stay safe. Hello everyone, I am Charlotte Goetz, a research fellow at the European Space Agency. And I work with data from the Rosetta mission, Europe's comet chasing spacecraft. So let's talk a little bit about Comet Neowise, the latest addition to our night sky. Comets are small bodies. This one's just five kilometers in diameter. So why can we even see this without giant telescopes? Well, the comet, also called the nucleus, contains ice and dust. And when the comet comes close to the sun, the ices are heated and become a gas which escapes into space. This also lifts the dust off the surface. And the closer the comet comes to the sun, the more dust and gas is produced. Neowise came within the orbit of Mercury, so it is extremely active. What you can then see of the comet are the tails, the white dust tail that curves away from the sun and trails behind the comet's motion, and the blue plasma tail. And this plasma tail is the result of the ionization of the gases, and it always points straight away from the sun. Tails are very large structures. We know from observations with other spacecraft that the plasma tail can be 570 million kilometers long. That is almost four times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. And this plasma tail is carried away by the solar wind, which is a stream of gas that is emitted by the Sun and expands into the solar system. This wind is variable, so the plasma tail is also variable, and it can even break off. So if you observe it in the coming days, keep an eye out for that. Can we visit Neowise with a spacecraft? Well, no. Common Neowise is on an almost parabolic orbit and it was only detected in March 2020. And because it is very fast and relatively far away, we cannot build a spacecraft to encounter it in time. However, in the future, ESA's Comet Interceptor mission plans to do just that. So the way we do it is by parking a spacecraft in orbit at the Lagrange Point 2 
and we just wait for a comet to be discovered. Now the only part of the journey that we still have to do is the one to the point where the comet intersects Earth's orbit and ta-da, we get a flyby of a great dynamically new comet. Comet Interceptor will then study the nuclear surface and the gases, dust and plasma that surround it. We can compare this to results from missions like Rosetta and Giotto which observe periodic comets, which means comets that have come close to the sun many times before. Comets are storytellers from the formation of our solar system, so if we can explore the unchanged surface of a comet, we can look back in time and find out how the solar system and the Earth formed 4.5 billion years ago.